Darren Michaels? My name's Conley. I'm captain of the local police department. <laughs> Are you gonna arrest me? No, we're not. But we need to talk to you. May I come in? Uh, sure. So... You work in Fuller's photo studio, is that right? Not anymore. Not since yesterday. Not anymore? Why? The work atmosphere. I... I quit. Quit? Or were you thrown out? Was there an argument? Why? Has something happened to Fuller? Please say yes. Well, yes. Have you arrested him? Or did someone beat him up in a dark alley? Would you be happy about that? Only if it was painful. He's dead. He was stabbed to death in the early hours of the morning. We're still counting the wounds. Can you tell us anything about that? No. Nothing you'd find fitting. Someone must have been pretty angry with old Mr. Fuller. How angry were you with him, Darren? So angry that I don't feel sorry that he's dead. But I've got nothing to do with it. Look, I saw him for the last time yesterday afternoon when he threw me out. And you haven't been in the store since then? No. Darren, we found your fingerprints. Of course, I worked there. On the safe. Was that part of your job? Look, what do you want? Where were you last night? I was in Biba's diner with a friend. Correct. Angelina Morgan. You haven't known her very long, have you? Do you have to be engaged if you want to go out with a woman in this town? Very funny. Only if you did know her better, you might be able to explain why Miss Morgan murdered Mr. Fuller. What? She was practically caught red-handed. Practically? She was standing over Mr. Fuller's corpse, covered in blood. The whole thing could have only been clear if we had a notarized, certified video of the murder. That's crazy. Perhaps she found Fuller dead and wanted to help him. That's what she claims, too. And what was she doing in Fuller's store in the middle of the night? What do I know? Ask her. We have. She says she was told to go there by a man on the phone. By the guy following her? Correct. By a stranger. That's why I'm here. Miss Morgan says that you told her about... about her... pursuer. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the hotel owner saw him, too. I've already been to see him. He confirmed that someone was asking after Miss Morgan, but he couldn't give us a proper description. Did you get a proper look at the man? I did. Um, his eyes are close together, and... Not here. Come down to the station. We can do a photo fit there. What about Angelina? Yeah. Well, let's see what the guy you saw has to say about all this. Give me a break. If he was the one who called, he's not gonna admit it. If there was a call in the first place. Please, come as soon as possible. We need that photo fit. No, that's not him. The hairline was higher. Like that, perhaps? No, it was more... Can't you just let me have a go at it? Sure. Look, here are the various chin shapes and eyebrows and so on. Yeah, I was watching you. I get the idea, okay? You can change things using the arrows. When you're happy with it, click on save and... Alright, I've got it. Okay, okay. Let me know when you're finished. Hmm. Okay. The quicker the police find this guy, the quicker I can help Angelina. What did he look like again?
So? Ah, uh, that's him. The guy that followed me and Angelina look like that. Hmm. I don't know him. Perhaps a tourist. You also said he spoke with an accent. Exactly. What now? We'll post the pictures around town and invite the gentleman in for a talk. And Angelina? Yes, well, she's... Oh, Angelina! Darren! It wasn't me! You've got to get me out of here! They want to pin this on me! I know, but, but we'll get this sorted out. They want to charge me this afternoon! You've got to... You've got to somehow... Come on, Miss Morgan. Darren! I'll get you out of here. I I'll think of something. Come on, Darren. Leave me alone. I'm gonna find out what's going on here. She is innocent. What was her motive? That's the thing. We don't know. Look, others had a motive. Full of blackmailed people. Is that so? It, Mrs. Biba from the diner, she paid Fuller. Lots of money. How do you know that? Is that important? She had a motive. A and what about that guy? Uh, he was at Fuller's yesterday. We didn't find any money in Fuller's store, and this gentleman's a witness. Nothing else. As far as the alleged blackmailing is concerned, have you any evidence? Evidence? Uh, ask Mrs. Biba. And she's gonna tell us if she was blackmailed by Fuller? She... put her under pressure. Based on your speculation? No, that's not enough. We need evidence. Or at least something that would suggest blackmail before we can move on it. And until then, our only suspect is over there behind bars. Fine. Then I'll get a hold of the evidence. Where do I start? I need evidence that Fuller was a blackmailer. But what did he blackmail Mrs. Biber with? And was it just her or were the others? I bet the secret door in his basement has something to do with it. But how do I open it? Has Fuller still got the key on him? I've got to find out. Offender, victim, crime, destiny. Everything filed in an orderly fashion, and therefore, closed. And if a case is solved, then chance must have played a part. I hardly think they're gonna let me snoop around in the records. Selling water is an unbelievable business. You fill the bottles with water, put on a pretty label, and charge an arm and a leg for it. All these darn mega conglomerates even try to seize control of the water supplies for entire countries. Then the price soars beyond the imaginable, and the people, who are already poor, are completely screwed. Selling water is an un- All these darn- Then the price- I'm not thirsty. That's the way to the cells. I've already spent a couple of nights in cells like that after protests. In my circles, that was something like a badge of honor. I just thought it was crap. Back there is the smug, ignorant captain's office. Does he really believe that Angelina killed that fat bastard? Huh. Clever, ambitious, and hungry. A model American citizen. Everyone pats her on the back, but she's almost a robot. These rather sinister fellas are wanted. 
There are some wretched criminal mugs among them. Police must have been decked out with new computers recently. All quite modern 486s. What piss awful weather. Suppose it's fitting somehow. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? How's my mother today? No change. Her vital signs are all okay, but she is still comatose like before. So, we can only wait. It looks that way. Has the guy who inquired about my mother been here again? No, at least not on my shift. And please, can you tell the other nurses that they should keep an eye out for this guy? The police are looking for him. I know. The police faxed through a photo fit picture. Good. You heard what happened to Fuller? Oh, yes. Beatrix told me. They brought him in here this morning, covered in blood. Did you know Fuller? Not personally. What do you mean by that? I'd heard of him. You... You... Okay, listen, I'll tell you. As a woman, it wasn't an especially good idea to have your picture taken by him. Why not? He was a creep. And was not supposed to be able to keep his hands to himself. That sort of thing gets around, of course. Thanks very much for the information. No problem. There's a delivery note. For liquid soap. I can't take anything. The nurse will notice. I don't want to stop her from doing a job right now. Excuse me, this area is only for staff. You're not allowed in there. Oh, uh, excuse me. I, I didn't know that. I've got to distract the nurse somehow. She won't let me in there. the scales here. What would I do with scales?
powerful chain of lights. A power cable with lots of bolts on What a flashy thing that is. Probably some tourist cool ride. Europeans in particular confuse New England with California and think they should be driving around in convertibles and mustangs. Most of the year, an open top car is a bad idea around here. With that kind of weather, Biddeford should make the raincoat a national uniform. Dr. Newhouse? Yes. Do you know how my mother is? Or should I ask someone in the hospital? I've already seen your mother today, Darren. No change. And uh, I think we ought to take that as a good sign. Are there good medical reasons for thinking that? Or is that just wishful thinking? Uh, optimism never hurts. <sighs> so it's just wishful thinking then? Darren. Thanks, Doc. Have you ever seen this guy? He was in the hospital yesterday. In the hospital? I don't think I saw him. Why did you ask the nursing sister? He was here in the diner, too. That's right. I think he was talking to Mrs. Biber. Did you notice anything else? Yeah, afraid not. So, uh, are the crops in Biddeford any good? How do you mean that? Do you trust them to find the killer? I'm sure they'll do their best. Oh, right. We've never had a case like this before. Oh, so you don't reckon it's such a bad thing if they've got the wrong person, since they still have to practice? I'm sure that the captain will solve the case. So how was Old Fuller killed then? Oh, I, I'm afraid I'm not allowed to tell you anything. They're still investigating. What? You think I'd tell the press? I did used to work for him, and I'd like to know what happened. Well, okay, then. He was stabbed. And more exactly? He was stabbed nearly a dozen times. Not a nice sight. Did he bleed to death? Not necessarily. Could have been shock. Could well have been that some vital organs were injured. Huh. So it looks like Fuller had a pretty free choice of how he checked out. Somebody wanted to cover all the bases for him. Darren, you really shouldn't speak of the dead like that. I'm not interested in the dead. I'm interested in the murderer. As I understand it, there's also a department in the health center for the less mobile... a morgue. <laughs> yes. That's right, this is a small town. We doctors at the health center are also responsible for checking corpses. So don't you have to have special training for that? If there's even just the slightest sign of a crime, then we get an experienced pathologist over from Portland. So that means that Fulla still hasn't been looked at. Right now, we're waiting for the pathologist. We've only prepared him. Do the nurses sometimes stick their fingers in the deceased's personal effects? Outrageous! 
Of course not. These things are properly stored away in the morgue, as they should be. Thank you. Well, that's it for now, I guess. If you've got any more things you want to ask, then just come and find me. Those are the paper snippets out of the trash can at the diner. Let's see if I can put them back together. Yeah, I think it's a letter from Fuller to Mrs. Biber. Maybe even the one I stuck in her hand yesterday? Dearest Claire, I'm a little disappointed that you don't come to visit me anymore. Don't you miss our time together at all? All the fun we had? Take a look at the pictures. You look so happy and contented. Don't you think so too? I tell you, that was some kind of fun we had, too. And you just can't bring yourself to admit it. Are you worried about it getting out? Well, it would be too embarrassing, wouldn't it? A married businesswoman has to watch her reputation. What would the folks say? What would your husband do with you? It would be a scandal. But I'll protect you from it. Me and 15 Ben Franklin stand between you and shame. I'll expect the, uh, bonus this evening. Bring it to me, and I'll enjoy myself with your pictures for a few more weeks. F. Hmm. Huh. That's at least evidence that Fuller was blackmailing Mrs. Biber. 15 Ben Franklins is 1500 bucks, but is that gonna be enough for the cops? They're gonna ask her what he was blackmailing her with. And if they ask her, Bible will deny everything. I've gotta find out what Fuller was using to blackmail her. I'm sure that the answer is behind that secret door. I'm gonna keep this portrait of Angelina. She looks just... stunning. <laughs> most beautiful girl I've ever met. My mother and some guy. On the back it says, Black Mirror Castle, Willow Creek, England, August 1969. Ah, uh, that's him. The guy that followed me and Angelina looked like that. Sorry, Mrs. Biber? One moment. What's happened to your eye? Let me guess, you fell down the stairs. I... Yes. And your husband was standing at the bottom doing his boxing training. What's this got to do? I just don't understand it. 
How often does this happen? Not often. Just sometimes. Maybe you ought to move to a bungalow without stairs. Yeah, you think you can give me advice? You married? You trade in your pride when you do that? You've never been in love. If you had, you'd never ask that. Okay, what do you want to drink? Is it too early for a whiskey? What do you think? Psst, Mrs. Baiba. Yes, what can I get you? This weird guy, uh, the one who bumped into me yesterday, have you seen him again? The guy from yesterday? Sure, I think I'd remember him. This guy. Oh, him. No, I haven't seen him again since he was in here questioning me. What did he want? He was asking after Miss uh, so-and-so. Miss Angelina Morgan? Could be. And you haven't seen him again? Nope. Will you tell me if you do? Maybe. So friendly. So where was your husband last night? Yeah, and what's that got to do with you? What's that with him and Fuller? I'm asking you. Haven't you heard what's happened to Fuller? Yes. But... I don't want to talk about him. Why not? You hated him. Maybe your life will be a bit easier now without him around anymore. How can you say that? He's been murdered. You're making it look like I wanted that to happen to him. Did you then? No. After everything he did to you? What... What do you know about that? Oh, a little. Nothing. You don't know a thing. And if there is anything, you save it for yourself. Or what? The same thing that happened to Fuller will happen to me? Get out. Mrs. Biber? Yeah, just uh, let me get this and then I'll I'll be right with you. So, are 15 Ben Franklins enough of a motive for murder? What? The $1,500 you had to pay Fuller. Get out of here. You just can't... You don't... Have any evidence? Could be I do. It's about time the truth got shook out. I didn't murder Fuller. Where were you when it happened? So now you're a cop. Would you prefer it if I go to the cops on this? I was at home. Alone? With my husband. I believe you. That shiner you have there says it all. A girl I know is being suspected of having killed Fuller. I'm sorry about that. If she was lured into a trap, she has no motive. She also wasn't being blackmailed. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Was Fuller blackmailing anyone else? Did anyone else have a motive apart from you? Oh, you've got nerve. I wasn't being blackmailed. Listen, I'm sorry about what happened to your friend. But if she's not guilty, then she won't be held for long now, will she? And I don't know anything about blackmail. Huh. So you don't want to help me get an innocent girl out of jail? I... I can't. Should have guessed. The police have sealed the door. Gotta find another way. Fuller's mother will have to take a mutt for a walk on her own now. The cops could have at least brought the sign back in with them.
an empty package. <sighs> Looks like someone's unpacked the shipment here and left the packaging. Some people. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? Do you know this man? Has he got something to do with the Fuller murder? Of course. I can see it now. That's a real criminal face. You know him or not? Never seen him. Then not. Have you already heard what happened to Fuller? Hmm. Isn't that something? I know, right? At last. Something's happening here. A bloody murder in the middle of the night? A suspicious foreign lady? Who knows what's gonna come out of all this? Maybe the suspicious foreign woman is innocent and has been wrongly arrested. Oh, yeah. And the killer is still on the loose and is gonna kill again. Oh, yeah. Maybe a souvenir shop employee. That's not funny. You shouldn't joke about that. What can you tell me about the hotel down the coast? The Wild Coast? Belongs to an old town family. Been there for about a hundred years. It's a well-run place. Doesn't do badly. Bit boring, though. No scandals? The owner doesn't get on too well with his son. He's hanging out in Portland. Some kind of musician. But exactly what? I don't know. And anything else? There's an illegal card game up there sometimes. The cops don't bother with it, though. Why'd they do that? How should I know? The chief probably plays with them. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. The Atlantic. A relatively quiet spot at that. Biddeford lies in a large bay. As soon as you get beyond the headlands, it can get very lively. The mast is a copy of a flagpole you might see on a big ship. Excuse me. Yes, please? The weather isn't going to be suiting to your guests. Oh, yeah, well, there's not much going on anyway. The change in the weather was already announced. And to be honest, right now I'm quite happy there's not so many guests in the hotel. You know why. With the uh, incident. Do you know that Angelina's been arrested? Can't tell you anything about that. But you do know. Look, Darren, this is a family hotel. I understand. Can I have a quick look around in Miss Morgan's room? Absolutely not. Even if I were to let something slip out to the press? I'm not going to be blackmailed. And anyway, the newspaper belongs to my brother-in-law. Hmm, nice for you. Have the cops sealed off Miss Morgan's room? They were here first thing this morning. Got me out of bed, they did. I was worried that they'd pull the whole room apart. Took a whole lot of photos and fingerprints. <laughs> you know, like in a movie. But they didn't. The captain had a look around the room, made a few notes, and told me that nothing should be touched. But after ten minutes, he was off again, without, without taking anything with him. So are they coming back again? I, I don't know. I didn't get the feeling that the captain was looking for anything in particular. He just wanted to take a look around. So there could definitely still be clues hidden in the room. 
I need to be able to get a look around in there. And I'll be a lot more thorough than the captain. Was this guy here again yesterday? You mean the one who was asking about Miss Morgan? Yes, I saw him the one time through the window. He was headed towards town. Where was he coming from? I can't tell you exactly. Somewhere from around the beach, I'd say. Well, can you keep your eyes peeled? I believe he's caught up in all this. In the murder? For sure. He was following Angel uh, Miss Morgan, and now he's framed her for the murder. <laughs> what are things coming to? What kind of folks are running around in our lovely little bit of her these days? I saw the card and the flowers that you sent my mother. Oh, well, that was a given. As I hear it, isn't she any better? Seems there's not much kept private round here. Well, my wife is a friend of the doctor's wife. After all, one worries about people, doesn't he? Would you let me know then when my mother's condition starts to improve? Sorry? What do you reckon? Who do you think murdered Fuller? Well, the cops already have a suspect. That's crazy. It wasn't her. I hope so, too. And I also hope they keep it quiet about where she was staying. And that's all you're worried about? Now listen here. My whole family's welfare depends on this hotel. You know what my daughter's tuition fees in Switzerland cost? There's an innocent girl sitting in jail. That interests me more than your daughter's college fees. Forgive me, you're right. But if Miss Morgan is innocent, which is what we all assume, then the truth will soon come to light. Oh, I'll bring it to light, all right. Whatever it costs. There is no way that the porter's gonna let me go up there. Hmm. A private sign hangs on the door. The owner and his family live in this building. Behind the door is either their living quarters or an office. with my slide projector. Don't worry, got it here. Is it broken? No, but old and battered as ever. What do you need the projector for anyway? You're blind. You just look after your own junk. Do you know this man? You want to play me for a sucker? Oh, uh, sorry. Have you heard what happened to Fuller? Sure. The police was here. Wanted to know if I heard anything. Did you? I got ears like a lynx, but it was raining. When the rain falls on that tin roof out my window, I can't hear nothing else. The police have arrested an innocent woman. It happens. I'm gonna prove that she's innocent. Is she that pretty? She's damn pretty. <laughs> but, but that's not why I'm doing it. Whatever. You would have helped a 60-year-old wrinkly bitty in just the same way. But it don't matter in the end. The strong gotta help the weak. It's your duty to get her out of there. Will you help me? If I can.
I'll tie the rope to the window grill and the basement grill. In ancient Egypt, it should work here. second time. Beaten by a centuries-old technique. Shame on you. That's got it. The clips are off and the screen's gone up. Battered looking numeric pad with small metal buttons. I guess that you have to enter a code to open the door. I certainly don't need a bucket, nor a load of rusty water. The police seem to have left the light on. Oa, Fuller had another photo shoot yesterday, and the police didn't want to change anything. works. I don't think I'll find anything that the police missed. They've examined this area carefully. sleep. 
This is where Fuller's body must have been lying. Everything covered in blood. There's nothing more that interests me in the safe. No. Have you found Angelina's Pessua yet? No, not yet. Talk to Sergeant Kinney. She's leading the search. Good. You really believe Angelina murdered Fuller? It hasn't got much to do with believe. We walked in on her standing over the victim, covered in blood with the murder weapon in her hand. Why were you there anyway? You mean, in the middle of the night? Well, we got a tip off. One? And that's... that's not suspicious? Yes. That's the reason why I want to find your mysterious stranger. Do you think he made the tip-off? Possibly. It was an anonymous caller who said something about a break-in at Fuller's. If the stranger had really been following this morning, he might have seen her entering the photo store and then notified us. Or he set a trap for her. Yeah, well, we can only speculate until we found the witness. I'm convinced that... that Brit set up a trap for Angelina. If you say so. What's wrong with that theory? The same that's wrong with the theory that Fuller was attacked by vampires. It's not very believable. What reasons did the English guy have to murder Fuller and frame Angelina with it? That's exactly what I'm gonna find out. If you say so. What would you say if I showed you a blackmail letter from Fuller? I would say that despite my warnings, you haven't kept your nose out of this business. And if I found the letter in a public trash can? Then I'd ask you if you had any evidence that the letter's from Fuller. A letter in a trash can can be from anyone. And the fact that you, of all people, found it doesn't really speak for its authenticity. All right then. So I haven't found a blackmail letter. I've got to get into this secret room. There'll be evidence that Fuller blackmailed Mrs. Biber in there. Fuller had a skeleton in his closet, did you know that? I wouldn't be surprised. You got any details? I think he blackmailed people. Really? That's a serious allegation. I've got no evidence, but I'm gonna get some. Don't do anything foolish. You'd be better off not getting in the way of my investigations. I won't. I'll search in the right places. Do you know that my mother almost died yesterday? No. I didn't know that. What happened? She tripped and cracked her head open. Oh. I'm really sorry about that. Tell her. Tell her for me to get well soon. Don't you find it even a bit strange that... that, that this Brit appears out of nowhere and, and the next day we got a corpse and a serious injury? Are you suggesting that her accident wasn't an accident? I don't know. I don't think we should start hunting around for possible crimes, Darren. We've got a very real crime to solve here. So, they are now officially looking for him. Is it gonna make a difference? I have my doubts.
Has Fuller's place been thoroughly searched? As thoroughly as was necessary. Meaning what? We have a homicide and homicide suspect who was practically caught in the act. We have therefore photographed the crime scene and the CSI squad has documented everything. Did you search the basement? Only cursorily. Yeah, that's what I thought. Did you know, Fulla? He was a pig. And so he deserved to be murdered? So why should Angelina stab him a dozen times? Why would anyone else? Looks like a, a passion thing. Angelina hardly knew him. Perhaps she was going crazy. <laughs> An English literature student in a bloody frenzy. It's all happened before. And who says she didn't know Fuller? Maybe she had a damn good motive. Shouldn't you be absolutely sure that someone has a damn good motive before you charge them for murder? Not so with such a frenzied crime. People who do that stuff don't think too much about it first. Maybe she didn't have any motive at all. Maybe she just snapped. How is Angelina? Uh, well, she's in shock, anxious... Understandable. She's a student from England. She comes over here and then she's accused of murder of a man she barely knows. The circumstances are quite clear. And nevertheless, wrong. It was someone else. We will be following up on all lines of investigation. And until we find something new, your girlfriend has a problem. Have you found the guy from the photo fit? No, not yet. But the picture's been posted up. It won't take too long. If he's still in town, that is. If he is the killer, then he's gonna get out of town right now at the latest. He's a witness at best. So, uh, has Fuller's body already been autopsied? No, not yet. We're waiting for the pathologist from Portland. They're due around midday. Until then? We wait. Great. Where's Fuller's body now? In the hospital. They have a morgue there. There are a few cables hanging down the side of the unit, mostly to the sensors attached to my mother. The machine only monitors my mom's vital functions, so it doesn't matter if I loosen a cable here. Perhaps the delivery note will be of use. I'll take it. Yes. Um, hello. Are you delivering something? Yes. <sighs> A delivery note. <laughs> Whatever. The package? I've got it here. Okay. Can I go in now? No, you can't. Where's your pass? My what? Your visitor's pass. You have to get a visitor's pass back there. Oh, come on. What is this garbage? I just want to take my package to the mortuary. And you need a pass to do that. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You could say so. I'd think about that if I were you. Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? I'd like a visitor's pass, please. You don't need one. They're just for folks delivering stuff. But you're wearing one, aren't you? Dick, the security guy over there, insists that all the employees wear ID. I'm not so petty. Visitors shouldn't have to get messed up in paperwork. Oh yeah? So that means that just about anyone can wander in here off the street. No, no, no. Everyone's got to register with me first. You mustn't worry about your mother. Of course not. She's only lying in a coma. It wasn't meant like that. What's up with your security guy? Does he think he's got in a bank or something? Oh, him. If you ask me, 
He's not all quite there. Back there is the morgue, a few storage rooms, the laundry, and the garage. Don't know why it has to be so secure. This here is Biddeford. Nothing gets stolen here. Oh, just a few people get butchered, that's all. <laughs> but only extremely rarely. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't joke about it. You don't seem to be too worried. I'm not scared. That was the first murder here for years. I don't think such a thing will happen again quite so soon. That's reasonable. Who's allowed access to the morgue? Hospital employees, of course. And the police. And how does the security guy recognize the employees? You want to sneak in there? You got no chance. Good old Dick knows everyone here. Oh, it's impossible for him to know everybody who comes through these doors. Well, okay. Not the delivery guys, but he knows the employees better than they know themselves. I get the feeling he's taken a peek in the personnel files. Thanks very much for the information. No problem. Excuse me, Dr. Newhouse. Hello, yes? Well, it seems that the porter at the Wild Coast Hotel is remarkably well informed about my mother's condition. Sorry? Your wife rather likes to chat with his? Oh, that, uh... I'm sorry about that, Darren. I, I've already told my wife on many occasions that she shouldn't talk about patients with her lady friends. But more exactly, your wife oughtn't to know a damn thing about these patients anyway, yes? Yes. If only it were that simple. It, it, it won't happen again. What's that ID you're wearing there? It's from the hospital. Don't they know you're a doctor there? <laughs> they can't have that many staff. <laughs> I said the same thing to the admin people. But Dick, the security guard, insists on it. He's very <laughs> meticulous. And apparently can't recognize faces. Can you tell me something about the security guy at the hospital? I find him kind of interesting. He used to be a police officer. He was sick. <laughs> there were a few problems. So when he couldn't be a police officer anymore, he became a security guard. Where do you know him from? He was in the diner yesterday. Oh, all right. But strange as it may seem, I believe he lives for his job. He lives for that? Being a security guy. He takes his job very seriously. Sometimes too seriously. Hmm. Well, that's it for now, I guess. If you've got any more things you want to ask, then just come and find me. Mrs. Biber? Hey, um, can I get a pot of coffee? On its way. of coffee. You can have it filled again as often as you like. But the coffee here is so strong that you probably wouldn't survive drinking more than two of them. Die! You hate Hot! Hot! Oh man, sorry! It was an accident. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Your thoughts are elsewhere. I'll give it here, Dr. Newhouse. I'll rinse out the stain. 
Thanks. No harm meant. No damage. I just gotta keep it cool. Now that's what I call a serious coffee stain. And the ID badge is still pinned to the lab coat. So now I've got some ID. Excellent. The security guy in the morgue surely won't expect it that closely. Are you delivering something? Yes. <sighs> Delivery note. <laughs> Whatever. The package? I've got it here. Okay. Can I go in now? I, uh, I've got a pass as well. All right then. You can go in. Edges are bent upwards so no blood drips on the floor. It's got wheels and seems a bit rickety. It's probably taken to another room for the actual autopsy. There's a buyer, just like the one out in the hall. I think it's for transporting the corpses. The upper part can be removed. A metal buyer. It's probably taken to another. There's a buyer, just like the one. of the personal belongings each dead person had on them. But there are no names. There's 394 written on the first one. I guess the numbers on the lists here relate to the numbers on the boxes. That means if I can work out which of these lists belong to Fuller, then I know which box his stuff is in. Number 394. Hairbrush, lipstick, car keys, mirror. That's hardly going to be the contents of Fuller's pockets. Number 412. Wallet, keys, Polaroid photo. That could be Fuller. Oh, wait a minute. A wedding ring. Fuller was never married, so it's not 412. Number 433. Credit cards, earrings, anklet. Mm, no, not Fuller's. Number 448, wallet, driver's license, credit card, keys, bills. I wouldn't rule that out as being Fuller's, but I'm not certain. Number 442, driver's license, photos, small change, a pacifier, baby powder, definitely not Fuller. Number 399, knife, Torch, ski mask, skeleton keys, small change, plastic bag. Unless Fuller was about to set off on a secret thieving trip when he was murdered, then that's not his. Number 448. That's the only box left. It's gotta be it. Boxes. They appear to be airtight. 
there's a number stuck to every box. I think the personal effects of the dead people are still here. Fuller's box is number 448. But where is it? That's Fuller's box. Fuller's keys. Those could be useful. Hey, and here's his wallet. Driver's license, a few dollars, credit card, a few bills, but no secret numbers or anything like that. I think I'll take the keys, the wallet, and the rest of that stuff is of no use to me. There's nothing more of interest in it. I wonder why there's so many boxes here. This many people can't have died in the past few months. Or how long do they store all the junk here? Thousands of people die every year from infections they pick up in hospitals. Makes me wonder if hygiene hysteria is the better way to go. The cleaning agents they use aren't so innocuous themselves and the viruses are getting more and more resilient. Well, it's all really clean here, but ultimately a dead person makes less mess than a living one. Yeah, well, at least if you don't cut them open. A syringe. Quite a size. I guess any remaining fluids are sucked up with that. I certainly wouldn't want my flu shot injected with it. Either they assume that Biddeford's population will reach 50,000, or the number of cold drawers is quite over the top. Half the town would have to have a collective heart attack. Stab wounds. They've undressed him. I won't find any clues here. I'd rather not do that. Whoever it was, he must have been out of his mind. See what happens when I turn the key. Okay, so I've wound up the clock. Now I'm pushing the key in. Oops, it clicked. Sounds like it adjusted something inside the clock. What the? What's this then? This box was hidden in the clock. Come on, I just need a little tip for the damn combination. Huh, four negatives. That's four negatives which have been cut out, but the photos don't seem to have come to anything. There are some faults in the exposure. They look like bars or stripes. A few horizontal, a few vertical, and they're arranged differently on each negative. I can't see anything else other than that.
Hey, two, four, eight, two. The rows produce digital figures when arranged in the right order. I'm certain that's the code for the secret door. The negatives were full as emergency memory aid. I don't understand it. The code has to be right. At least it sounded like it was. Hmm. Something else can't be right. When you stand here, it feels huh? like... Like... like what? Something like when you, when you see in the dock and he has you stand on a set of mechanical weighing scales. Everything slides slightly back and forth. The floor gives a little as you stand on it. Could it really be a set of scales? Would that fit in with a secret door? Aha! I knew it. If it really is a kind of scale, then it could measure Fuller's weight while he tapped in the secret number into this pad. And the door would only open when the two matched. Pretty well thought through, for sure. For me, there's the problem that I have no idea how heavy Fuller is. I've got to find that out if I want to make progress here. I've forgotten something else. <laughs> A metal buyer. The edges are bent upward so no blood drips on the floor. It's got wheels and seems a bit rickety. It's probably taken to another room for the actual autopsy. I should first divert the security guy's attention. All the racket's gonna be quite suspicious. Excuse me. Now what? Are you all on your own here? 
I mean, who occupies this strategically important position uh, if you have to go to the washroom? I just... Man, I can't just go. Just every few hours or so. And then I shut everything up. What did you think I did? And you can't fit in a quick smoke every now and again either? Nope. And I've given it up anyways. What's much worse is not having a drink. You drink alcohol in your work time? Man, of course not. I'm in a coke or something. I left my bottle in my car today, and it's still some way off until my first break. And right now, boy, I'm parched. Yeah, <laughs> life's a bitch, huh? You want me to wait here while you go off and get yourself a soda or something? I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? The guy would probably accept it. But why should I do him the favor? Still just be hanging around here drinking his soda. I've drawn a little of the laxative into the syringe. Nice. That's the laxative in the soda bottle. Hey boss, you want a soda? What do you want for it? Nothing. You just gonna give me a soda, as a friendly gesture. Exactly. That's very... nice. Perhaps you could do me another favor. Can you keep watch here for a minute? I'll be right back, oh, real quick. I thought you couldn't leave your post. It's an emergency. I'll be back in a minute. We here. Okay, no problem. What was that about? Strange. Oh well, he's gone. Hallways, corridors, the reception area over there, a door, presumably the emergency exit. All of it, no further interest. Let's see. The bio weighs about 53 pounds. Now I just need to weigh Fuller and his bio. All right, I can work out Fuller's and the buyer's weight together. That way... Three hundred and forty-eight pounds. Three hundred and forty-eight for Fuller with the buyer. Minus fifty-three for the buyer makes... 295 pounds. That's Fuller's weight. And that's what I gotta put on the scales. Perhaps a bit more. He wasn't wearing any clothes and had lost a lot of blood after all. I weigh nearly 198 pounds with clothes on. So I just need around another 99 pounds on the scale with me. I'm sure I can find something in the basement. Don't move! What the? Look, I didn't want to... What are you doing? Trying to poison me, huh? That ain't gonna work on me. Me? P poison you? What makes you think that... No one has ever offered me a drink. And someone like you, of all people, bring me a soda. Yeah, well, I thought you were thirsty. Yeah, sure, junkie. You want to steal medication, huh? Or, or equipment to make some money, don't you? That's crazy. I, I was... The soda's poison, right? It's in the lab right now. And if it turns out you're trying to poison me... <laughs> yeah, well... Poisoned... You going to jail for this? You... you terrorist! 